Yo, what's going on, everybody? How's your day going? Everyone's day going good. All right, today I'm going to show you guys some replays. Then I'll do some live battles after. I do have a few that I really want to show you guys. One of them is against P.E.K.K.A., Battle Ram, Electro Wizard, Mandate, Dark Prince, Poison, Zap, Mega Minion. Another one was P.E.K.K.A. with the three Musk. I'll show you guys those in a bit. Here, let's go into my profile. So I hit my season highest last night, 59.11. That, I think, puts me in the local leaderboards. Go there. Yeah, it definitely does. 59, 11. So I'm 868 at the moment in the local leaderboards. Try to stay there. <laughs> Autocorrect was like wasabi. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start with this one first. That got me to my season highest. This one was an insane matchup. I did not expect to win this one. Somehow we managed. So he starts with the Bandita. I do Barbaro. Just so I'm not taking any charge damage from the Bandit. I'm going to have to do this in one, one time the speed, bro just because I can't really explain everything when it's going so fast. So he just Mega Minion, Dark Prince, I snowball everything so I can clear it up. And then he zaps it, yeah. But I still get a decent amount of damage, down to 2300. I messed up with my timing there. I should have waited a little bit. Um, yeah, He got decent damage there as well. I have a little bit of an elixir lead here. So, I mean, that wasn't the best play for me, but I started the golem on the left side. So he goes with the crazy push on the right side. I defend with the mega minion only, but he keeps, he keeps going on the right side. I'm like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. So I, my main focus is the left side and still in the back of my head. I know I have to defend the right as well because I'll get three crowned. So I drop my baby dragon just so I don't get three crowned. And look at this, guys. I have 220 HP left. But look at the left side. I have a golem and a night witch with a lot of bats around it. I drop lumberjack because I know he probably has some spells if I try to defend it, he'll be able to cycle him. So I keep dropping Lumberjack, Mega Minion, Bar Barrel. Everything is raged up. Baby Dragon. He keeps dropping stuff there, but it's too much. And there, that was, that was game. So that pressure right there. You know, I mean, if I, if I had waited there, he had um, Poison and Zap. So that was good game for me. Regardless, my only way to win was to you know just pressure him for the three crown and that's what i did the next one is there's another one that i want to show you guys i don't think it's the i want to show you all of these but <laughs> there's one that i really want to show you guys i don't think it's this one though but let's see Right, so we're playing the waiting game on this one. I think I think no one really made a move in this one until like a minute and 30 remaining in the match. Yeah, sometimes you have to because like I don't really want to start with Golem and single elixir. So here we're having an emote battle. You know, we're just throwing emotes. So he, he zaps my right tower, but I don't really... I ignored that, so I leaked to Elixir. I mean, as you can see, I did the right move because he had P.E.K.K.A. in hand. I couldn't really start with the Golem like that. 
So now it's a minute and 20 remaining. Oh, he has Electric Dragon emote. <laughs> All right, so now it's a minute left. This is double elixir time. So he starts with that snowball. I'll start with the golem. He starts with the Pekka. All right, let me go back in uh, single elixir. So look at this push, guys. He's got the battle ram, dark prince on the left side, All right? A bar barrel and lumberjack right there. Just so I can clean that up. While on the right side, I have a golem and a night witch push. And I still need to defend the left too because I don't want to... Okay, this play right here got me the value. He drops three musk right there. I had lightning in hand. Boom. And I made sure my lightning did not hit the tower because that would have let one of the one of the um musketeers live and i did not want that all right let's go back to normal speed here i got the bat i mean he zaps and goblin gangs so he spends five elixir i'm okay with that so i dropped lumberjack i mean that's seven elixir i only dropped four so i ignored the left side and i do golem on the right with the night witch I drop uh, Mega Minion at the bridge. I'm not sure what I do next here. Okay, Baby Dragon, Snowball. So everything's going straight to the tower now. I mean, he doesn't really have anything that can stop that push. So sometimes, guys, you just have to, like, wait until Double Elixir. Try not to make that move if you have a bad starting hand. It's just not worth it. Let's see the next one. I lost to that one, Double Prince Giant. I lost. This was not a battle, clan, a ladder battle. That was a double elixir draft, as you can see. All right, this one right here, Double Prince with the Giant. This was a good one, definitely. But the next one that I'm going to show you, that, that was definitely a good one, too. All right, so we're, he starts with the witch. I do golem. I'm going to go single elixir so, like, I could talk while I do this. All right, so I'm waiting to see what's my best move. I wait every, I wait for everything to cross the bridge, and I do lumberjack, and then I do night witch on the prince just to clear everything up. Golem goes in the front. Lumberjack is getting some hits. Got about four hits. Everything is raged up. Golemites. I mean, he does nice, but we did a lot of damage to the tower. So he starts with the giant in the front. Trying to catch me off guard there. So I do Mega Minion there. I'm just not trying to take that damage right now. I mean, it's just like a logical thing. Like if you, you know, if you have like a lot of more damage done to them. It just does something. I don't know. I think. All right. So here he does something very clever. I did golem right there because I knew I had the elixir lead. He waits. He goes with the two princes on the left side. So now I'm waiting. I know I can't drop that. If I had dropped anything before those hit the tower, it would have gotten killed and I would have not made... I would have not been able to really defend that. So I let them connect to the tower. Then I dropped Lumberjack to clean them up. So my logic was I don't want to get three crowned. But if I could defend, I still have a golem push on the right side that I can put a Night Witch right next to it. You know, that was a solid push right there. We get the tower. I mean, bats are cleaning up. The Mega Minion. He zaps. Here, I mean, we have four things headed straight to the tower. I lightning the witch to clean it up. Baby dragon, mega minion are getting chip damage. So we got the tower down to like 1200 HP. I mean, he doesn't give up though. He still keeps going. 
so I do golem to kite the prince you know bring it to the right side I do lumberjack to clean up the giant I wait for the lump I wait for his mega minion to connect on my lumber then I drop my mega minion to clean up everything there and I start with the golem night witch on the right side I barbell the witch to clear out the skeletons and to clean out the witch that was done nicely um here I, I don't I don't remember I think that was game I mean, he's probably a lightning away or maybe I just snowball all right and that was a good game like now a lightning so I mean a lot of a lot of plays here you just kind of have to like wait and you have to be okay with like giving up one of the towers all right so this one was very similar he had the freeze hog uh minion horde with the witch let's see how this one turned out to be I think this was a good one so he starts with the witch right i have baby dragon so i i can actually i didn't i had mega minion so i did that i think i did lumberjack here so i can clean up everything and still have a solid push i do bar barrel to kind of tank for everything but like it didn't work out the way i wanted to so he does hog and that. I had nothing there I could really defend that with. So I only snowballed. He used nine elixir. I only used two. I just didn't. My logic here was I did not want to get three crowned. But I knew I have a solid elixir lead if I do that. Even though I lost a tower. So he keeps coming with the pressure. I could have night witched there. I should have. But I did mega minion instead. Um, here at the bridge, I do lumberjack. I mean, he does have what he should have done was the scar me, he messed up there too on his part. Lumberjack gets to the tower. Um, the lumberjack definitely finishes up. I mean, baby dragon finishes up the witch. Here, everything is raged up. I'm trying to get as much as damage as I can right now. I get the tower down to about 1600 or so 1692 so he comes with a hog play here and I ignored that tower again I let him have both of the towers this is like you can do this when you know you have a you know backup plan so I do that lumberjack baby dragon right there for the minion hordes so I mean I'm just going for the three crown because I know that's my only way to win he freezes that but the death damage still hits the king tower golemites hit the king tower brings it down to lightning range and I lightning everything there so I mean two plays there that I had to give up my tower but I was still able to come back let's see if I can show you guys one or two live battles Wish me luck, everybody. You make one mistake up here. They come with a counter push. You cannot stop. All right, so we got Golem. Okay, he does that. I'm going to drop Mega Minion. Wait for it to cross the bridge. That way I could do this right here. I'm, I'm going to tank from my mega minion oh i'm gonna have to start with the witch so he has minions baby dragon and i barbs this is gonna be interesting but i think I think I could do this right here. Definitely do that one as well. Drop ah more damage than I wanted to. Damn it. Damn it. No. 
I should be able to should be able to get some damage maybe maybe a tower I will have to lumberjack right here I'm just waiting for the golem all right there we go we're on to the t no okay we're on to the tower though so we should be the raid should be helping us get the tower and the barb should be gone so he has now what does he have in hand he has furnace he definitely has um okay i'm gonna ignore that side i'm going on the left side because that's already tower automatic you know we can see it so i'm gonna do this i'll maybe do that try to finish that off while I, up there okay he has mini pekka so i'm gonna have to do this early i'm gonna definitely have to use my lightning somewhere here or maybe not i have another golem ready for him that's for sure we'll do bar i mean we'll do lumberjack we'll do bar barrel here try to get these barbs out of the way we still have some bats here lumberjack and golem hits the tower but it doesn't do nothing crazy that i wanted it to i'm gonna start with the night witch he's probably gonna do yeah i figured he was gonna do that we'll do baby dragon right here i'll have to lumberjack i mean barbaro Baby, I mean, golem in the pocket. Lumberjack right behind it. Lumberjack gets to the tower. Oh, it's hitting the swipes. Whoa, good game. That was a good game. Nice, nice. So his towers were connected onto the golem because I did it in the pocket. And then Lumberjack after just finished it off. Woo! We're back in the top 10K. 9786. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see where we are in the leaderboards. 5940. Okay, we're um 668 in the United States. Pretty good, pretty good. I have a war battle. I, I'm not um I don't know if I really want to go back into another match. I think this is it guys for today. Or maybe for now. I'll be back with more very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Give this deck a try if you have, you know, bring it on ladder or bring it to classics, whatever. Do a grand challenge with it. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, So that's my season high is 59.40. Feel free to join this clan right here, man. As long as you meet the requirements. All right, guys, until now, this is my first season that I made it into the top 10K. This, you know, and that's my goal. I want to finish this season in the top 10K so I can have that badge with the rank on my profile. Yeah, that's my goal this season. But yeah, all right, guys. I'm out for now. Until next time, peace out.